Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience. We are here on the Survival Mountain server, and I have a lot of stuff to do. Oh my goodness, are we? Oh, we're not getting good enough frames to use the shaders today. That's so sad. I don't know what it is about my computer. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But anyway, I will not accept anything less than 60 frames per second. I have become... PC Master Ace with this new computer. It's kind of sad, but anyway, anyway, we are here on the Survival Mountain server back in this beautiful, beautiful uh, farm thing. Uh, this is this is very good. I feel like I take advantage of this a little bit too much, but uh, the feeling goes away after a little while. Today, we've got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff, so I want to keep this short. The first thing we are going to do is try and get some leather because last episode, uh, after getting the gift from Skookum, we built our storage building and I have found out a couple things about that storage building that I'm not too excited about. Uh, first things first, we are going to need some more storage. So we are going to need to expand that place a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to need to do it now or in the future sometime, probably in the future sometime. Uh, but first things first, we need to get some, hey, I planted you. We're going to need to get some item frames. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to get a stack of wheat and then I am going to go over and I am going to actually steal and kill Skookum's cows. <gasps> yes, yes, that's right. I'm, don't worry, I'm going to breed enough so that he doesn't actually lose any cows. And even if he did lose a cow, I don't think, I don't think it'll, it'll matter, but, but that's, that's okay. Uh, you don't, you don't need to tell him. I mean, there's really no point in telling him. I mean, he's not, he's not going to know. He's not going to know unless he watches my videos, which he does. So he's going to know. <clears throat> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And it's nighttime. It's nighttime. Oh, look, you can see his base. I'm not sure. I'm positive he hasn't shown this yet, at least in the time of recording this. Uh, well, this is actually going to go up pretty late, so I'm pretty sure I can I can show you this. He'll, he'll release a video talking about this. I really love this. This is a really cool combination. This granite with this little glass right here, I think it's super cool. I think it's super cool. And this guy has a bone. Oh, look at that. It's so great. And he has this little... Ooh, he's made a tunnel here, this little hidey hole. I, I really like it. Skookum's house. He's done a lot. Uh, if you haven't seen this, go check him out on his channel, Skookum's channel. Bam. And here we go. Whew. Look at that. Huh? Look at this place. This is so great. I love this little stair step he's got right here. This little staggered, different multi-layer. However, uh, this layer is not above this layer. Like, we can't walk underneath it. But it, it's just such a cool feel. And this is actually open to the ceiling, which is pretty cool. Mobs can get in, so we better sleep. This is not a full enchanting table, Skookum. Yeah, just hope you know that. Uh, nether portal right there, which is pretty cool. And uh, right here... A little terraforming right there. There are the cows we're going to have, but we're going to sleep here first really quickly. I have a lot to do in my treehouse. I really do. I want to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, first thing, I want to actually start building at spawn. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't have the materials to do it. So that's really what's uh, what's holding me back here. And uh, you can see all the farms he's got of all of his trees and stuff. Uh, but I want to get a sheep farm because I want a lot more wool. I want to get a cow farm because, well, obviously we need some leather right now. I want a chicken farm. Uh, I want a place to put my horses and I want a proper nether portal. That is basically what I'm looking forward to. So what I'm going to do, we are going to breed, kill, and harvest these cows. I do have a looting three swords, so that'll hopefully get me enough item frames for all that sort of good stuff. Uh, I will do the math on how many cows I actually made, so I'm not going to kill any more than I, like, breed. So that'll be good, and I will see you guys after that is all done. 64 minus 20 is 44. 44 parents is 22 adults. So, or 22 children. So, I'm going to kill 22 of these cows. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I actually didn't really kill 23. I was just counting. Oh crap. Oh crap. I killed one more than I should have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Skookum. But we got a stack in one of, of that. That's good. This is the one guy here. You can have him back. I don't need him. Oh, I'm sorry. You have one last cow than, uh, than you started with. How do I get out of here? Skookum? How do I... How do I get out of here? Oh yeah. Gas tears. Very good. 
And we're home again. I am very happy about that nether travel, man. That is so great. I'm so happy about that. Which is why we need it like in our treehouse. Because now I'm getting tired of walking back and forth between right there and right there. So that's that's unfortunate. But you can start to see what we have planned. You can see I've moved my horse up here. And this is, yet again, an homage to what Doc M77 had. Uh, for whatever reason, he found these colors to go well, uh, go together very well. And I completely agree blue with the green if we can find some purple in here the new purple blocks that's gonna be great that's gonna be so good oh oh that's gonna be good for our building that is good that is good so anyway let me kind of show you around here this is gonna be our potions chest right here we've got quite a bit of stuff uh, in that do I have any do I have anything that goes up here cobblestone cobblestone will go right there we're gonna need some of that actually we're gonna need a lot of bit of that actually uh what else what else what else uh, there's that obsidian um hmm, obsidian we've we can put right here because that's where we've had everything the rest of all this is like farming stuff and mob stuff which is actually on the second level down here if we go down here we can see uh here are some random stuff so if we ever get um, like bows and all that sort of stuff. This is our typical sort of mob drops and everything like that. Nothing else. Over here we have some standard uh, leather and secondary drops from uh, mobs and that stuff. This is where we're going to keep the meat and all that sort of good stuff. We are actually going to cook this up too as well. So we're going to do that. Do this. Oh, that worked out perfectly. We have 10 things. Do I have 10 inventory slots? There's 9, 10. Okay. At 9, 10. Okay, and then we'll go like that. Oh, perfect. That's all going to take one. Gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Anyway, we're getting organized here, but unfortunately, there are going to be uh, some items that are not stored as well as I would like them to be. Uh, I haven't figured them out yet because we're not towards the end game uh, stuff yet but we will get there eventually so when that time comes we are actually going to expand this and that's going to be something that we can easily do easily easily do uh, due to the fact that hey um we're in this like uh oh there we go we're in this jungle so i was thinking where could we expand it in the future over there it's a little too far away we would like to keep it in this general area so i was thinking just build a little bridge out there and uh, I can actually show you. Actually, I'm going to have to use an ender pearl because I'm lazy. Right here. Just this little spot right there. That's all we need. That's all we need. I think that'll be good. For a little mass storage of things, uh, over here we've got all of our... Um, and we still haven't finished this yet. But we've got all of the, uh, the dyes and stuff. This is cyan. This is light wool. Or light blue. This is blue. So I think that's going to work out rather well. And up here we have some ender pearls because we will eventually make an end farm and we'll have ender pearls just right there and 11 is really good we're i'm, I'm gonna try to get 16 i know it only takes 12 to go but i think we're gonna try or i'm gonna try to get to the end uh, not by myself but uh, i want to have the capabilities of going to the end by myself so that's all we got uh, now we need to focus on building something else either a cow farm or chicken farm i would like a sheep farm so i don't know i might do that here i might do something with the nether portal i'm not entirely sure but uh i'm gonna get this cleaned up and i will meet you guys when i am back with a plan Okay, <clears throat> this was a weird cut because, you know, after the last little introduction piece, I was like, you know, it would be nice if I had a little bit more diamond to get a shovel to repair my pickaxe, maybe to get a different pickaxe. I don't know, maybe to get a better sword. Just I like diamonds. You know, that's perfectly fine. Who likes diamonds? Okay, okay. So I started the strip mine. Okay, and this strip mine goes for a long ways, long, long ways. And there's it's my typical strip mine. If you've seen my single player, you know how I strip mine. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you know that we are so far away right now. I went for two hours trying to find these diamonds right here. If we go all the way up, I went all the way up because right over here we go, we go jungle edge, and over here, Savannah M. Can you believe that Savannah M. Right there unbelievable and it's a really beautiful savannah m if i do say so i went up there and i checked it out it's gorgeous it really is gorgeous so anyway i'm gonna get this diamond um we have too much of that crap in there we have seeds okay so we have one two three four five five diamond if i don't get 10 diamonds out of this i'm gonna be a really upset pastry okay <sighs> we're gonna get rid of you 
Okay. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. <sighs> 13. 13. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Now, I am not going to cut away. I'm going to show you just how insanely long this thing is. And I'm going to collect the resources, by the way, right here. So this has been a crazy past couple of days. Uh, today is Monday as we speak. And so I don't know if this is going to be a Wednesday episode or if it's going to be a Friday episode. It depends on how uh, good the snapshot is on Wednesday or even if we get a snapshot on Wednesday. Um, hopefully we do. Hopefully we get some more features. Uh, but this has been a crazy, crazy past couple of days, uh, mainly because Friday, uh, Friday, I thought I recorded the episode that you saw on Monday, my single player episode. I, I recorded that. And right when I recorded that, I was supposed to be at work. I thought I came in at four. I came in at two that day. So they called me and they were like, uh, where are you? And I was like, I'm at home getting ready for work. Like, what's up? What's your business? What's your problem? <laughs> and they're like, you're supposed to come in at two. And I was like, oh, and I felt really bad because that whole time I was building that entire episode. I was supposed to be at work. So, so I want you to know that when you see that episode on Monday, I was supposed to be at work, so, <laughs> so I, 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 didn't, I don't go to work for you beautiful people. Anyway, I, I, I close Friday, which is great. Saturday, I wake up, and my oh my, I have the biggest, uh, well, I don't know if you beautiful people know or not, but I had, I don't think I've talked about it, I had a little stomach issue uh, a long time ago. Uh, that sometimes reoccurs, uh, look at how long this stupid tunnel is, uh, that sometimes reoccurs, I have a little bit of, you can describe it as acid reflux, but it's really not, it's something different, um, I have like a scar on my stomach that really hurts when it gets agitated, and because I've been eating too much like spaghetti and crap all the time, that, that kind of uh, come back up, and it's like a really sharp like... I don't know, terrible, terrible pain. It really handicaps you. So Saturday was like the worst day of work ever. I was super slow. I wasn't into it. I was just quiet all the time. It was really bad. And this continued on. It was a horrible feeling. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital until like, okay, that, that felt longer mining it out. Because when you mine it out, it's really slow. Nah. But anyway, anyway, we'll do some enchants here as well. Um, I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital. It was pretty bad. Uh, but is it almost nighttime? It's almost nighttime. It's we're fine. Uh, so that continued on into Sunday. Sunday was really bad in the morning, and it was just awful. I couldn't record. I couldn't edit until Sunday night, where after I took my like ten hour nap, uh, I was finally up and ready to go. So that's when I edited and recorded and uploaded uh, Monday's video and Wednesday's video. And so now all I have to do. As Halo, which is good, we'll hopefully get that out if the grave mine is good enough. So, and then I went and I I decided, hey, I'm gonna get some diamond here, and I couldn't find diamond for two hours. Two hours, I could not find diamond on the stupid server. We went just to give you like a little scale. Um, south, we went south. So this is south right here, and I put up my enchanting table right here. We went all the way that way until we got to a savanna and biome. That's how long it took. That's how long it took. It's insane. So, I saw that with this pick, uh, we'll do a little bit of enchanting here. With this pick, we get Silk Touch. But, you see, I got two unbreaking um, pickaxes right there, which is really sad. Uh, we are going to try for a Silk Touch pick, because I think that's beneficial. Oh, no. No, no, no. A Silk Touch. What do we need? Shovel? Axe? Ooh, let's just make, let's just make, oh crap, oh crap, I don't know what to do. We're making a Silk Touch shovel, if that really is what we're going to get. Silk Touch, yes, okay, so we're going to make a Silk Touch shovel, because that's the most beneficial, uh, in my opinion, of first having Silk Touch. And, all right, perfect, perfect shovel, very good, very happy with that. Now, we can go back here and we can check all of our enchants. We see that's power three, that's terrible. Uh, silk touch again. Very good. We might have an axe uh, with that. That's silk touch, right? Yeah, okay. So then we'll do a bug protection three. This has been weird. This has been very weird because if we go in here, efficiency three. That was a level 30 enchant. I don't understand uh, what the deal is with that stuff, but I've been getting a lot of that sort of, um, well, honestly, pretty terrible uh, enchantments. 
uh, when I have a level 30. It's really weird. It's really weird. But anyway, we are going to take a nap here oh, and move the carpet to here, which I think looks really nice. I'm really happy about that. So that's pretty cool. And it's going to be another way we can hide lighting, but that's not going to be a problem. Anyway, I've been talking too much. Let's get back to work. I will see you guys later. And holy crap, we only got five minutes left. After all that ranting and raving, we only got five minutes left. Well, you know what? Guess what? I This guy, lead, lead, lead got lost. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Today, we are going to begin and possibly end this guy right here. Little, tiny, can you guess? Sheep farm, huh? Look at how quaint this is. This is super cool. Um, I'm very happy with what I got so far. Uh, we just have this little staircase down, and I thought it'd be nice to have a little overhang for the sheep so they stay inside when it rains so they don't get all all wet and, and smell like a wet sheep, even though I don't know anything what that smells like. But this is pretty cool. And then I think I was thinking about how big this should be. I definitely think it should be at least one more big. Um, we need dirt. That's pretty sad, isn't it? We need dirt. So we need to go in the, into that mine shaft and farm us some dirt. We're going to have that there. We'll have jack-o'-lanterns and possibly glowstone lamps. I need to go in the nether and just farm up a bunch of, a bunch of materials for future projects and stuff. Uh, but I don't want to do that quite yet. But I was thinking, you know how when you have wheat and you're by the fence and you go in there and you don't want them to, to like get out and escape from the, from the gate from the fence or whatever? I was thinking, why not make it so that there's a little ceiling entrance, boom, right here so I can jump right in the middle of them and I can feed them and then I can they'll be all breeding and everything and then I can just boop walk out that would be super cool I think that'd be great or maybe even eventually I want to get some slime blocks going on on here so that's what I'll do it's gonna be very small this is going to be our uh, one color I want to say our one color bulk a uh, bunch of sheep because I want to do eventually I want to do like 16 and even 17 or 18 different pods of, of, of sheep where I can get a whole bunch of red, a whole bunch of orange at the same time. And I want one pen full of all different types of colors, just like what Zisto had in his season or in this third season of Minecraft. If you guys have seen that, just a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, that would be super, super fun and cool. But yeah, this is what I got so far. It's very fun to build. There's a different level to it. I'm, I'm just so excited to get this building uh, built. So I'm going to go get some dirt. I'm going to get this out and then I'm going to try and figure out a way how I can get sheep up here very easily. And I'll put like a glowstone lamp right here. I guarantee you that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll do that. We'll cut away and hopefully the this last cut we can get a final product out and something somewhat functional of this sheep farm beautiful people beautiful people <sighs> I love this this is so great look at that we're in the sheep farm now I love the jungle jungle I knew I knew the jungle was my favorite area in Minecraft but I had no idea it would be this freaking amazing, dude. Oh, look at this. Look at this little place. It's tucked in here. It's nice and tucked away in this little cove right here. Oh, yes, you two. You two get, give birth again. We don't have any shears. But look at this. It's a nice little roof for them. But if it's if it's sunny and it's hot, they can come out here and they can enjoy the day. I don't know why my clouds aren't on. Uh, that's kind of weird. But um, yeah, look at that. And you may be wondering, why are there leaves touching the grass? That's so that when they eat everything, when there's like a ton of these beautiful sheep in here, look at how much they eat, those pigs. Um, it's that that grass block will then spread to that one so that this has an infinite uh, respreadability. If that makes sense, like this one can spread to that one once all of these are dirt blocks. At least that's the way I believe um, it is. This could be a little trouble area because they could want to walk up here and get out. So we may put like a leaf block there, but that's really not an issue right now. But part of the reason that I just love this place. Oh, and this is where we're going to keep our chests and, and stuff. That's that's so nice and quaint. I think it's good. They're uh, good. <laughs> I don't, uh, what I wanted to say was, I don't have a storage system for this yet because I am waiting for that time where I have a mega sheep farm. I don't think the time is right for mega builds right now, so that's probably why I'm being a little uh, held back. But, you know, I should pretty, I should really start thinking about it, thinking about uh, expanding this place, and I'll get more comfortable with it uh, once I start actually building a little bit more. But this right here, this is why I love it. It's just a simple little path, right? This is just a continuation of the little board of the log that goes out here, right? Right? Well, it also allows you 
to walk up to this second level. Now we have this passageway and we have this passageway. And if we want to go come from the house or something, we just go right over here and we fall down just like so. That is amazing. I love that. I think that's part of, oh, I love it. Beautiful people, beautiful people. I just cannot wait to get this tree house going. Like this is so great. I wish I could sit here and yammer on for hours about how great this is going to be. And believe it or not, I actually can. I, you beautiful people know I am fully capable of doing just that. We can come over here and we can hop on down. Bam. This is so great. This is so great. And we're going to get XP from breeding these guys and from killing these guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you beautiful people are enjoying because I definitely am. I'm loving this. I cannot wait to get going on this. This is, I, I just don't want to stop playing. I have to stop playing. I have to edit, render, and upload this beautiful video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next absolutely beautiful Minecraft morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.